We talked to one of our flag football coaches uh, the other evening, and they brought up a good point, and we actually answered their question. And I want to show you today just how versatile your flag football section is. Uh, if you are coaching, say, 6v6, and you're looking for some plays maybe that are over in the 7v7 or 5v5 area. So uh, let's say you're coaching 5v5, and we have – uh, a ton of information in 5v5. All these formations that you go into, once you get inside of them, you know, we break it down by drop back, quick game, and RPO, and all of that. But let's just say that um, for purposes of just expanding your library a little bit, you want to look for some other plays that maybe live over here, but you're coaching 5v5. So go to 6v6, and as you went, go to the 6v6, We'll choose another formation. You can see we've got a lot of stuff in the 6v6 too. Go to Twins, drop back, quick game, RPO. We'll open up the quick game. And when you open this up, you're going to see plays that are obviously drawn up six on six. But we'll choose uh, Ohio X Slant right here. We'll open that play up. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and, and, and get in here and we're going to edit it. And we're going to add a field background. We don't put a field in the background because we're not always sure that, that y'all have a field uh, when you're coaching. But we'll go to settings and we'll just add a field just in the event that you are playing on the field. Now, so you have a 6v6 play right here. You're always going to need a center, so you can't take the center out. But let's just say that you want to run the same concept, which is just a slant and not a flat, but a swing route over here that you're going to read uh, outside and in. And then you want to keep the same concept over here. You could do that. All you would do is go in and you would take out this F right here. Or better yet, you could even go in and take out the center. All right. Remove the center. Put the F where the center is. Change it. Make them the center. And then tighten your split over here with your Z. Maybe move the whole play to center it up a little bit. And now you've got really the same thing. You would come down here and change this part. You would, you would edit it. And your center would now be running the out route. And uh, you would make adjustments to that as well. But the key point is that there may be information in the 6v6, 7v7. You may take a 4v4 play and add a player to it. But you want to make sure you take advantage of the full first down playbook library that's in here. Because, uh, coaches, there are thousands of plays in here. And don't ever forget now that once you get into this part right here, you can flip this play horizontally and run it two different ways. And you can even take this play and run it against your defense and, and try it out that way. First down playbook gives you a lot of flexibility, and that's regardless if you're coaching flag, tackle, at whatever level.